bees are back to normal activity and this bag has got quite a few foragers. They're mostly bees that are on their way out but they they get uh, sidetracked and end up in this bag. Great thing about bee behavior, it's not complex. They, they go up and toward light. So I do like this, they all go up here. This is the, the setting. So they can't get out of this bag and my idea is to mark each one of these very carefully in the middle of its thorax with a nice light blue dot that I'll be able to spot. And this, this little exercise is called mark recapture. It's, it's not a big mystery. Like I, normally I mark, let's say today I'm just going to mark 100 bees. Then I come back in a couple hours and I use the same bag technique to get every bee that's flying out of the nest. So if, if that bee uh, in the bag has a blue mark on it, I know it's one of those 100 I marked. If it doesn't, it's the other bees in the nest. So if one out of 10 bees has a blue mark on it in the bag, I can estimate that the total population of bees is about 10 times 100 or 1,000. That's the mark recapture. So here we got the bees under control. They're, they're all going up and toward the light. So while they're in that tip over there, I'll take out my little knife and make a little exit for them. Cut off the corner here. Put the plastic back in my pocket somehow. And then switch it so they want to come up and out over here. Get the old paint pen ready. It's got the light blue on it. And give them a little hole and they'll go right out. So here's a bee, I'm just holding on to it. It's got a little blue mark on its thorax and it's ready to go back and be a bee. There's one that escaped. Here's another one. It's mark B number two. Okay, there's B number two. I'll do a hundred. Usually I do maybe 500 because the more you mark, the more accurate your statistic comes out when you're trying to estimate how many bees are here. This, this is kind of a, a funny story. When, when I began this work, I thought, well, this would be terrific because I'll be able to know the entire number of bees in that colony, adult bees. But it doesn't really work that way. It, what I'm learning is how many of the bees in that colony are at this time foragers. Because a lot of them just stay in the nest. They don't go out at all. They're there doing maintenance. They're building things. They're collecting the trash and throwing it out. They're feeding the queen, they're preparing the brood cells. But they're not foragers. So what this study really tells me very accurately is how many of these bees there are in the field out here in this great big forest foraging for, for materials, for food and nesting materials. And those are again just pollen or, or nectar from flowers and resin from broken branches, from certain kinds of flowers, from oozing wounds on tree trunks. They're all out there getting these things all the time. And on average, I've found they're foragers. At any one time, they're about 7,000 out in the field. And any one day, they make more or less seven flights each. So about 49,000 foraging trips per colony per day.